Ugh, it's so dusty in here. I bet no one's been inside this place for years. <sighs> Do you remember anything? I don't know. But I have been here before. Maybe looking around will jog your memory. Mm hmm. Still scared? Honestly, yeah. But I have to remember. Even though facing the truth can be hard. In, In the end, end it's, it's always, always for, for the, the best. best. Okay, let's take a look around. Right. Do these stairs go on forever or what? Whoa, check it out. You can see the clock faces. This thing is huge. There's a ladder. I guess it goes even higher. Matthew! There's a bell up there! Matthew? I just remembered something. I brought Kelly here, a long time ago. Kelly's your little sister, right? Yeah, the clock tower wasn't locked up back then. Kelly loved it here. She said it was like a secret hideout. I made a deal with her when we played up here. What deal? When the bell rang six o'clock, it was time to stop playing. But then, we'd go meet Dad at his office. And the three of us together would go home and see Mom. I see. It's great that you remembered all that. Sure, but why just that? I can't even remember where my dad worked. Even though Kelly and I would walk to his office all the time. It's okay. I'm sure you'll remember some more soon. Hmm. Maybe hearing the bell will jog some more memories. Like where my dad's office is, or how to get there. It's worth a shot. Let's try to give it a ring. Ah. Um... All right. All right. All right. Hmm? Hmm? Um... Hmm. Huh? 
Oh. I see. What? Huh? No good, huh? All right, the clock's working. We did it. Look, it's almost six. And when it strikes six... And then what? Won't the bell ring? Oh, yeah. Do you want to watch it ring from up close? Best seats in the house, right? <sighs> That's okay. I'll stay down here. Scared of heights? No, it's not that. Why don't you go on ahead? Sure. Wait here for me. Okay.
Whew, it's over. I didn't think it'd be so loud. I bet Charlotte heard it too. I wonder if it helped jog Matthew's memory. Huh? Matthew? Matthew? What's this? This picture. It's Matthew's family in front of Crusoe Resort. gone. This must mean he remembered where his dad's office is. He must have gone to check it out. I need to go after him. So we meet again. Uh, what? Uh, nothing. I should go. She likes you. She used to be shy around people. Hey, Princess, have you seen Matthew? No? Okay. How about you, Elizabeth? Have you seen him? I passed him on the covered bridge. The covered bridge? Thanks. Uh, I guess I'll get going. Hey, can I talk to you? Did something happen? My dad is getting married again. Oh, really? To the worst kind of woman. That sounds rough. Oh, dad. Why'd you have to fall for that drama queen, Sophia? Sophia? Right, she was at the cookout. Wait, did she just diss someone for being a drama queen? What's with that look? It's nothing. So you don't like her? Ugh, I can't stand her. She just seems so sketchy. Sketchy? Like how? It's hard to explain, but I don't even think she loves my dad. Uh-oh. <sighs> but he's crazy about her. I was trying to deal with all that. When Janet had the idea to enter this contest, I thought it might help me get my mind off things. So I said sure. For the record, I think your band could totally win. No way. Tommy is great on guitar and Janet's a solid drummer. But my voice is awful. That will kill any chance we might have. I'm not like my mom. My voice is nothing special. That's not true. I've heard you sing. You're amazing. Wait, you've heard me sing? Uh, I mean... You're the one who took the music player, aren't you? You knew? Of course. I saw that my music box had been moved. Sorry. But it was a really good song. I loved your vocals. I've been wanting to hear it again. You're a bad liar. Why would I lie about that? 
To make you feel better? Yeah, I guess not. Tommy and Janet said the same. They think your singing is great. But... <sighs> You've got to stop comparing your voice to your mom's. However much you love her songs, those are hers to sing. And your songs are yours. It's apples and oranges. Ashley, thanks. Whew, glad I got that off my chest. It feels good to let it all out. Well, not everything has to be about you, you know. I feel better now that I've talked it out, too. You know, I thought you were immature, even if you are older than me. Oh, well, that was, um, I may have lied a little about that. What? Why would you lie about that? I'm only 16. I guess I was trying to seem cool. That's stupid. Sorry. It's okay. I don't care. I feel better knowing you're a little vain, too. What? Look who's talking! <laughs> well, I really should go. Okay. Oh, wait. Do you know where Matthew's dad's office is? You mean the Crusoe Resort offices? Yeah. Go through the JC Valley Gate, then it's just straight ahead. But the gate may be closed if JC Valley is too. Thanks, Elizabeth. See ya. Maybe if she's right, I have my own songs to sing. Ashley. Hey, Bob. I'm looking for Matthew. Have you seen him? Actually, he just ran right past me. Turned the corner off towards Charlotte's house. Got it. Thanks. Charlotte! Oh, Ashley. You got the clock going again, didn't you? It was wonderful to hear the bell chiming. Did Matthew remember anything else? Yeah, he remembered a little about Kelly and his dad. But he disappeared once the ringing started. Oh, dear. I think he may have gone to the old Crusoe Resort offices. I'm trying to catch up to him, but the gate's closed. Oh, well, you should use the shortcut under the bridge. There's a large pipe under there that isn't used anymore. The kids used it to get to Michael's office all the time. Thanks, Charlotte. Huh. I don't think this was broken the last time I was here. Does this rope go all the way down? I wonder if Matthew used this to get through.
I'll just hang on tight and hope for the best. Well, that was more dangerous than it needed to be. Wow. <gasps> oh. All right. This is... This is the building from the photo. This must be the Crusoe Resort offices. Now to try and find Matthew. Matthew! I've been looking all over for you! Oh, Ashley, you found me. I'm sorry I ran off. I remembered the way to my dad's office. It came back to me when I heard the bell. I think we'll be able to find something here. It's alright, Matthew. I'll help you look. Oh, right. Here you go. My dad's briefcase. Thanks for grabbing it. Now, let's take a look around. Oh. Matthew, check out this photo in the paper. It's Sunglasses Guy. It says here the pollution may be from an unknown contaminant. So that guy's a reporter. I knew John Smith was a fake name. He's really Greg Davis. Greg Davis? Hmm. I found this. We can look around a little more with that. Yeah. It's open now. So this is the file room? I hope we can find some info about my dad in here.
Hmm. This is the only locker with a lock. These stickers are kind of cute. Huh. That's my dad's. No way, really? Yeah, I remember. Kelly put these stickers here. There's got to be something inside. But it's locked. Oh. What's up? I thought so. It's a sticker of Kelly's bunny. I wonder. Let me see that. Sure. Huh. Ah. <gasps> oh. All right. Huh. Huh? Um... Matthew, this is... It's a letter from my mom. It's to my dad. What she wrote. <gasps> is it true? Kelly... <sighs> Are you all right? I remember. What happened? The weather was so nice that day. So I told Kelly, let's go up to the clock tower. The breeze is great up there. And the lake looks awesome. But once we were up there, Kelly tried to climb even higher. I told her to stop. It's dangerous, but then, the, the bell it started ringing. And Kelly, she, the sound scared her. I was scared to remember Kelly. And what happened? That day, Kelly's accident, I forgot it all. Matthew, that... That wasn't your fault. I need to tell Kelly I'm sorry. I... I couldn't... Save her. It wasn't your fault, Matthew. Kelly? Is it really you?
I ran away. Once you and Mom were gone, I just didn't know what to do. I couldn't help Dad. I'm sorry, Kelly. I failed as a brother. Kelly, I'm glad I got to say I'm sorry. I think I'll be okay now. Thank you. Uh -huh. <sighs> Come on, Kelly. It's time to go. Mom? Matthew, I'm sorry I can't be there with you. <laughs> Kelly! Mom. It's okay. No more tears. That's what my mom said. Matthew. It's okay to cry when you're hurting. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Hi there. I guess my warning to stay out of it fell on deaf ears, huh? It's sunglasses guy! Well done, Matthew. I take it you still don't remember me? Greg. What? You know this guy? Yeah. Allow me to introduce myself. For real this time. My name is Greg Davis. I'm a reporter. I was listening in from the hallway. You helped Matthew regain his memories of Kelly. Thanks, Ashley. Did you know all along that he couldn't remember? And what happened at the clock tower five years ago? I did. As well as why Matthew lost his memory in the first place. I'm from Lake Juliet. That's why Michael and I became friends. We go way back. And I met Matthew. About five years ago. So that's why I didn't remember you. Kelly's death was such a tragedy. The shock resulted in Matthew's dissociative amnesia. He completely lost his memories from around that time. You should have just told me. I thought you were a bad guy. Had I told you, you would have remembered all the pain, too. I wanted to spare you that. So you had me pass your warning on to Matthew, instead of telling him yourself. I never believed you were a secret agent, by the way. You wrote the article about the pollution, right? I did. But I never meant for Crusoe Resort to take the blame. I only wanted to shine a light on a problem in my hometown. 
But in the end, that article, it pushed my friend's company to ruin. But now I'm close to learning the true cause of the pollution. All I need is Michael's notes. My dad's notes? He left them in his locker, right? What's this? Whoa. It says that J.C. Valley is responsible for the pollution. Those are Michael's notes. I finally have them. Does it have any information about my dad? It does. If I can reach out to my J.C. Valley informant, maybe I can finally learn the truth about the pollution. I'm so close to fulfilling my promise to Michael. Your J.C. Valley informant. Do you mean Ian? You talked to him on the phone earlier, right? Ah, oh, crap. You heard that? I was trying to snag an inside source and wound up with him. He should be coming through with some key intel soon. Listen, this info on Ian is strictly confidential. Got it? If Dr. Robbins were to find out... Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Not even my dad. I appreciate that. What did you promise Matthew's dad? Michael and I made a promise to each other five years ago. I told him I'd discover the source of the pollution. And he told me he'd reestablish his company. Your father didn't want to face you until he had earned back what he had lost. I mean, clearly, to have left you after you'd already lost so much. But now, Michael is... He's what? Where's my dad? Tell me, please! Just tell him, Greg. Matthew deserves to know. Michael is in the hospital. He worked tirelessly, saving up money to reunite with you but there was an accident at his work site. He's in a coma. No, it can't be true. Speaking. Really? Understood. I'll head out right away. So, Matthew. Do you believe in miracles? It would seem your father has woken up. That's great, Matthew. Your mom and Kelly must have been looking out for him. Yeah. I want to go to the hospital right now. Of course. I'll take you. Look out for Matthew, Greg. I'll keep him safe. Thank you, Ashley. I owe you so much. You don't have to thank me. I know just how you feel. Mm-hmm. See you later? Oh, wait! Take this. 
My watch. I picked it up off the ground. My dad gave it to me. I thought I lost it. Yeah, I know. I saw what it says on the back. To my dear son, Matthew. You should go. You have a lot of catching up to do. All right. Good luck, Matthew. Ashley. Ryan? Dr. Robbins asked me to find you. Really? Why? He became worried when you didn't answer the phone in his cottage. Oh. Right. There's something he wishes to talk to you about. Dr. Robbins is in the lab. You should go see him. I've got a few things I want to ask him, too. Thanks. Well then, shall we go? So this is JC Valley? Where'd he go? Oh well, guess I'll head in. I was here with Mom. She brought me to JC Valley. She kept it a secret from Dad. What were you doing all those years ago, Mom? I've been waiting for you, Ashley. <laughs> 